you need to have big balls big balls to run blue in drop we'll be following uh let's look for interesting deck interesting deck to follow yeah, we'll be following Rodchi because he's running ogre products and zeus and you need to have big balls big balls to run blue in drop yeah, i think blue it's a more risk high risk high reward deck if you run if you run blue if you manage to pick up the right cards uh, it will definitely pay off yeah so let's wait for so let's let's watch this, this game uh, as the top 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 two games are, are not ready yet so this is a flop this is why PA is so strong and honestly I don't think Mary is that strong with the whirling that with the whirling death is survived because turns it into a favorable trait honestly i don't, don't really think manzi is that strong because he's not very a very strong flop hero his signature card it's very slow and with the popularity popularity of debbies and as mostly debbies uh debbies tra traits with that uh, manzi which is very good for for the black black heroes because black heroes wants to wants to kill you and as red you just want to stay alive okay. this is uh, so we will we'll be seeing timbersaw in action yeah timbersaw the newly buff heroes he's essentially a 5 1 11 right now very similar to keith with a slightly better slightly better signature card so i think a uh, timbersaw is actually fine in a in draft right, right now 5-1-11, Keith is 6-1-11 The thing is, 5 damage, farms, farms, stabby I think that is very important Yeah, I think that is very important And it will farm most blue in 2 turns So right here, just draw, right? Zack I'm not sure so all right has a very good hand right now very solid hand buccaneer has a very solid hand as well uh, he is going to be able to play all these cards next turn the next two turns so it's, it's going to be very mana efficient for buccaneer middle is looking very scary for all right because does he has any board players? He has two thunderstorm and he has none in hand. So if he wants to save the middle lane, he has to drop one hero here. I imagine it has to be. I think you have to slow down the middle lane. You have to slow down the middle lane as alright. But you're also afraid of dual right from the any from, from the red heroes because there's a bristle back here. So this is a tough deployment for Mr. Alright. Very tough deployment here. I think this is fair. I think this is a slightly safer play, but Midlane it's going to be very scary. Double match. All right, guys. Mr. Buccaneer has drawn double match of machine. Do you play a march on the first lane? March on last lane, it's not going to do anything to the Mazzy. The Pit Fighter, it's. Uh, I think he should have swapped the Tinker and Legion instead of your own heroes because now your Zeus lose regeneration, right? March, March, March. With the March from the first lane, 
and the thicker laser, uh, this hero, your Zeus is gonna die, especially when Buccaneer is able to cast March from the last lane to the first lane as well. Double March is like double conflagration. It's super strong, super super strong, just like in Dona. When Tinker March at March at you, you have literally nothing that you can do. You can't walk into the March field. This lane one is going to be very hard for all right. Two turns. I can't wait to test these new but he has a smash. Did he just not play the smash? I think you almost always play the smash here. The hero is going to die anyway. So, and next turn it's not Thunder Scott's turn yet. As Buccaneer, you you play the Raftel. You play the Raftel here for sure because you have only one green hero. There's no reason not to play. There's no point keeping initiative because how can Ulrich kill you with 5 mana? There's no way for him to kill you with red, blue and, and 5 mana. I think he should definitely play a Raftoy, the Raftel. There's no reason not to. Nothing will deny me victory. Yeah, I know he wants to keep the initiative for the first lane but there's really no, no, no way for red, blue to kill you in turn 5. So this is a team wipe for all right. And the creeps are going to feed. The creeps is going to feed the Tinker's March. So that's I think all right not smashing. Last turn it's a very big mistake. Although he wouldn't have have expected double much. This was the only way things but were going to end. I would always smash that so much, yeah. So team team white team white. Just give me something to punch. Play the apprentice and push for twelve damage. And this the two get. march represent its damage here. So first lane it's looks like it's not going anywhere. And there's no heroes coming in. So Ulrich probably has to TP one of these heroes to the first lane, but you're just TPing right into Kuda Grass. Now, yeah, so Ulrich has lost the game, for sure. There's no other ways. You can play and steal reinforcement on the first lane. That will slow down for a little bit. I mean, if you have to, you have to play, pray that such that uh, Bokania has no coup de grace as at this point, for you to be, to have a chance to to, to at least have a, have a chance to defend the first thing. Then two heroes come in for Bokania. That should be game for Bokania. Rooting not doing very well, but you can cool. Yeah, cooling this is enough. It was and a march, again. killing the creeps, of course. Of course. Just that, you must die. that is the aim of all rights game. I think it's, it's still possible to, 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 to go for the top 16 because, no, top 8 because top 8 will get the points for the qualifiers to, to, to our tweet invitational at the end of the month. So let's go into stock thieves and rock thieves game. We probably misplay from, from both both sides just now, more from uh, alright side because I think if you are playing well, the game usually don't end so fast. If, especially if you are deploying correctly, the game usually don't end so fast. In drop at least. 
so stop Jeeves. It's this name it's driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. I keep I keep want to pronounce pronounce it as as Steve Jobs. It is sub Jeeves is such a tongue tongue twister. So stop Jeeves has taken the first lane. Second lane looks like it's losing. But stop Jeeves and third lane is kinda even. You should join the region. You slay? Yeah you you slay this creep and it pushes for a nine more damage. Unfortunately you can't press the button here. Charge gives you extra two more. Uh do you want to use it now? Yeah, you probably save it to to, to one turn later where your your heroes are blocked and it will have more utility. So four creeps, four creeps with four charge is eight siege. So thus Rodi has a way to deal with the last lane. Last lane is definitely the point of contest right now. He has Rodi has Thunder's Gods. Thunder's Gods will kill the Derby. And you're not really afraid of Primal Raw here because uh, Kifi is not doing anything. Do we, is there anything, any reason to keep initiative? No, not really. Kifi can do the spin to push for a little bit more damage. So Roti can survive this turn uh, with. Magician and Detonation. That's a kill. So stop Jeeve, you probably... Do you do anything? Do you play this boar? There's no reason, right? Is there any reason? Yeah, you, you can save it. Saving it is fine. Right. So maybe he should have just saved the initiative such that he can press the button. I think this button is very important for Stop Thieves, right? You are about to witness something incredible. Yeah, he still can play. I think you press the button first. Because that he has two mana, you can duel it next round. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the sequence doesn't really, doesn't really matter. So, blue decks prevail to the next round. I am really hungry. I am really hungry. I'm losing energy right now. So, let's go to jump to Exot and Altar game. Another blue decks here. So as I said just now, I think Exile is a decent player. I watched his game uh, yesterday on the Popper tournament. Not afraid. So looks like Exile is winning the first and the last lane. Elitor is winning the middle lane, but uh, this is never going to take down AD fast enough. Is there any reason for this? To kill the Luna. Uh, what can the Luna do? Does he have Annihilation? I'm not sure about this. Uh, this might give chance for Alita to, to come back in the in this lane, uh, especially when Sweat is coming. With some lucky rooting, uh, he might be able to reclaim this 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 lane. Does he have Spling Dagger? Not really. I think that PA is unnecessary. Definitely, definitely unnecessary. I mean, quick blockings. This can be a very annoying for Exor. Curve. That's all straight. Everyone is hitting straight. Let's 
no reason to play anything here you might as well or you can you, you can play something such that uh slow some damage so it gives you some extra time for Alita to take down the last lane so i think you probably just play yeah the defensive low and probably the wolf as well to take down maybe the Sven. not i'm not very sure if you want to block take down the Sven. maybe this creep tell us what you mean but this is fine this is fine too saves the derby uh i mean the farman uh farman will stay alive for one more turn and guys this is live there's no delay so i will be able to interact with the chat do you play anything here is there a reason to play Yeah, this is. This will take down in, I guess, three turns at least, including this turn. Yeah, at least two more turns. So, the question is can Alita saw this lane? But we know Exar has thunder, thund, a Thunder Height pack coming. So, it's totally no chance. This is a very sick draw from Exar. Without this, uh, Alita might have a chance to stabilize here. When you hear that sound, <laughs> that is the sound of disappointment. When you hear that sound, you you know that you you are probably going to lose. One one of the scariest sounds to hear when you are doing your draft. 